We're at the Mars Museum tonight. Uh, we're about to look at the portfolio projects uh, from the County College of Mars, the graphic design area. Art directors from New York and New Jersey are going to be evaluating the student portfolios tonight in an open book portfolio show. It's the first time that the school has ever done this, and it's going to be very challenging for both the students and the school itself. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, a good showing. Uh, the art directors are coming in little by little. They'll be sitting down with two students on the table and uh, for the review. And then we're going to be using a rubric, which was set up by the visual arts department at the school, to judge where the uh, program is going, and this will all be forwarded over to the Atlantic States for our evaluation and our program. I got to interview some of the art directors, and it is very interesting what they have to say. Just, I mean, I know you're involved, so I have to congratulate. I mean, I, I'm telling the truth that the stuff is great, and I just and having it here, I think it's great for the kids as well as the, the other people that are coming to look at it. So I just think it's a, a it's a program. I'm glad I'm involved. Well, very little, but I'm still I'm glad I'm part of it. You do know that in 2015, our package design program will be launched completely. Yeah, it's so just about my time. So <laughs> Giving you a sample of some of the yes, of the work. Yep. Yep. And I heard a little tinge of. I like packaging. I like. Yeah. It. I say you don't have to be having to get that from Steve, are you? <laughs> <laughs> but it's a. Uh, it, it's it's fine. Yep. No. We have the back of the school section. And I, you know, you got the back of Smith design. Well, it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks for the invitation. Tell me your name and what you do for a living. John Undershaft. Uh, the interface design consultant. What brought you out to the show, John? Just to see the uh, new wave of designers. See where their heads are at. To see where their talent is. Uh, what do you think of the show so far? Fantastic. I'm with Beth Alkis. Beth, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Okay. I'm an Associate Creative Director at Ogilvy Common Health and Person A. Okay. I've been in the industry more years than I would like to admit. I used to be very active in the Art Directors Club of New Jersey, and I remember sitting at one of these on the other side of the table as a student while the uh, professionals uh, judged my portfolio, and it was very helpful. How did you find the uh, show so far and the portfolio? I thought there was a lot of tremendous talent here. I am so impressed by the, by the kids and, and actually tremendously impressed by the program. Um, to have this kind of caliber of work coming out of a county college, I, I think is unbelievable. I think it's amazing that New Jersey can offer this. I think it's probably one of the top programs in the state if not, you know, in, on the East Coast, and to have this coming from a county college is just remarkable. The program has gotten to the point where 72% of the students go on to four-year schools. I, I think you got a lot to be proud of here. Um, 
I'm looking at these students and I'm forgetting that they're two-year students and they're not graduating and, and you know and some of them are actually when I mean graduating graduating with a four-year degree you know they still have schooling to go to and a lot of them I've talked to are really primed for the next two years and their their careers are going to really take off so it's very exciting to see. Join me as we interview some of the students that are at this wonderful show. Okay, and your name is? Andrew. Yeah. Andrew? Uh, Andrew, um, how was the critique for you? Uh, it went well. Um, I had a lot of positive uh, things said, but also uh, some criticism, which was very uh, welcome and helpful. It's always good to hear things that you can be doing better. Would you recommend this as an ongoing uh, piece that we do where we have the portfolios reviewed by professionals? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it gives you an opportunity to show your work to people who are experienced in the field. And uh, they can definitely give you some, uh, some helpful tips uh, on your design skills. Uh, could you show me some pieces that they particularly like? Uh, each poster can uh, hold on its own. Um, each one centers on a different jazz musician, um, as well as has a little uh, paragraph about them. Um, Very good. Something that I had some uh, critique about was my logo here. And I found out that without Lynnhurst and my skyline here, that it, it could be much... Uh, much stronger. Much stronger. Yeah. So, you know, things like that are, are very helpful. And who are you? Chelsea. Chelsea? What about mine? Chelsea, tell me about the critique. Uh, was it valuable to you? Yeah, it was very valuable because it actually made me feel more confident about my portfolio. Seeing actual professionals that are working in the field give their feedback on it. And these professionals were from all different specialties, weren't they? Yes from package design to publication design. Uh, were there any examples in your portfolio that they uh, thought were outstanding and that they really liked? Could you show them to me? Yes. Um, a lot of them really seemed to enjoy the Oreo packaging. I did an upscale redesign of Oreo. Okay. And also, my invitation. Was a popular one. I had the flat pieces here, and then at the end I have my folded pieces. Oh, so you actually included that also? Yeah. Okay. And everyone really enjoyed this. So they actually liked the fact that you had something in there that they could hold in their hands, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. And someone actually said that I should have more of these types of pieces because these are really great. Because it's showing your hand skills. Yeah. Um, so you would you would actually recommend this um, to be an ongoing feature within the portfolio program. Is Definitely. that correct? And your name is? My name is Sean McNeely. Okay. Have you been uh, critiqued by any of the professionals? Yeah, I've been critiqued by about like six, I think. So. Okay. You, f you feel as if this has been beneficial for yeah, your I, I really do. Like and actually showing your work that you've done. Do you think we should do this uh, in the future at mm -hmm. every uh, portfolio yeah. group? Okay. It, it makes your portfolio feel like it means more, so you work that much harder to... <laughs> were there any pieces in the portfolio that they thought were outstanding? What did they like about it? Do you remember? Um, that it like, worked with all of, like, if I just change the color and change the name, it would work for a bunch of different products. Excellent. More than just, like, one thing. talked to yet. And but this one they liked. Okay. Like I know I. That would be my choices too. They're, yeah. They're very strong. Very mm -hmm. very strong. Those are the ones I like as well. What did the uh, critiquer find <laughs> interesting in your portfolio? This could you show me? Yeah. The website for cosmetics. Okay. Hands. Outstanding. Would you recommend this as a um, positive 
thing to do in a portfolio class, to have an open book portfolio with the professionals reviewing your work? Yeah, because the more perspectives that you get, the more you can learn from other people that are actually in the field. And your name is? Margaret Trinkowski. How was the critique for you? How did you find it? It was wonderful. Wonderful? Yeah. Would you rec would you recommend this to students in the program? Yes, of course. Okay. It would give me a great opportunity to speak to other people who knew exactly what they're talking about. And I felt very natural when I was talking to them, so it wasn't high pressure, it wasn't very critical that I had to, you know, be very serious. It was very easygoing, but professional atmosphere. And what are some of the pieces that they were positive to and really liked? Could you show me? <laughs> My folding piece they really loved. We, well, here's the pictures of it. Oh, okay. And in what class was that? This was in Brochure and Magazine. Brochure and Magazine Design? Yes. So that's one of the, uh, it's an invitation, I see? It is an invitation. Okay. We had to choose what kind of fold we wanted. Okay. And uh, we were given the designer. I can unfold the actual piece for you if you like. Okay. All you do is grab opposite corners and pull them apart. <laughs> Inside you have two pieces of paper, one that says save a setting, it's polisher's work, and on the back is a scan code, so that it takes you directly to the website and reserve your seat. And then this is just invitation about the night. How did the, how did the professional feel about seeing the actual sample? Did oh, they like that? They, they all loved the fact that it was, um, it, it was very hands-on, that they could open it themselves. Okay. Do you think they want to see more of that in the student portfolio, the hands-on work? Definitely, because they also think that it's a great promotional piece for yourself. Okay. So you can go a lot of different ways with it. And I hear you're moving on to a four-year college? Yes, I applied to Kane University. Okay, very good. For the visual communications program. Very good. Do you have anything to say for the students that will be entering into portfolio? I think it was my favorite class because it's definitely at a time where you could be thorough. I mean, I know that and it's all positive, like that, positive time that we put to really improving your portfolio. It was truly my favorite class because you get stuff done. And your name is? Jenna Smith. Jenna Smith. What did you think about the critique, Jenna? It was really great. I mean, I learned a lot from it, and like, there were some things that, like little, just little changes that I could change, and it was just, it was really great. They gave me a lot of great advice. So you saw a lot of different professionals that were yes. here? Yes. Um, and I see that they, you even got the name of one of the professionals from Ogilvy, is that yes, correct? It is. <laughs> Were there any pieces that they thought were outstanding in the portfolio? Yes, there was a couple. Okay, um, could you show me that? Of course. They liked this one a lot. Okay, could you explain that piece to me? Um, this one's just an advertisement for free people, and it says um, like the phone number or the address of free people, and it's just something that you would see like on a wall, um, like in the city, just like browsing. It's just an advertisement for the clothing brand. Okay, and is there another piece that they like yes. too? Urban Outfitters website, and I designed oh, yes. the logo and the website. And they thought that was very good to have yeah, some uh, really branding and this. web design in. Yeah, they really enjoyed that because they said it wasn't. Not everyone had the branding, and they liked this like little film strip. It looks kind of like a film strip, but you actually just click on the photos and it changes them. It changes and it goes to the specific item that's in the photos. So all in all, you, you come, you're, you've come away with a very good impression of yes. the fact that this was very worthwhile. Yeah. Is that correct? It was definitely worthwhile, and it was definitely something that I enjoyed going through. The show has come to an end, and both student and professional have interacted in a very, very favorable way. We've gotten some very, very interesting comments from the professionals as to how the program has progressed and the quality of the work that they've seen today. A week after the portfolio show at the Morris Museum, we were notified that one of our students, Andrew Sperber, won one of the ADCNJ State Scholarship Awards for his portfolio. It goes to Andrew Sperber of County College of Morris.